With the previous units of the course, we learned the fundamentals of Drupal. Now, it is time to really apply what we have learned. In this unit and going forward, our site is going to change significantly. We're going to start with blocks. So open your Drupal site to the front page, then go ahead and open the blocks layout page in a new tab. So in the admin toolbar, hover over structure and open block layout in a new tab. I open in a new tab because it is more effective to see the results of what we have done. Recall that blocks are essentially pieces of HTML content, such as page title, the main page content, an RSS feed link, and all these other blocks. Remember, Blocks are arranged into areas of your page layout called regions, such as the content region, content above region, social bar region, and all these other regions. The available regions and the names of the regions are defined by the active theme. We don't go into detail on creating themes in this course, but we do in the layout and theming course, so check that out if you're interested. So here, with our active Olivero theme, we have a social bar region, a content region, breadcrumb region, and so on. To see the general placement of these regions, head back to the top of the blocks layout page and click on the demonstrate block link. Here, we can see all of the regions that we can place our pieces of HTML content in the form of blocks. Once we are ready to begin building again, click on the exit block region demonstration link. Let's switch back to the front page of our site. A block that I've noticed that I want to try to get rid of is this RSS feed block here on the left hand side. So again, if I go back to block layout, click on demonstrate block regions, it looks like it's called the social bar region. I exit the demonstration. I'll scroll down until I find the social bar region. And sure enough, here is an RSS feed block placed into the social bar region. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to place this block into the footer region. One way to do that is I could click and drag it, or another way to do that is use the drop down select list here. So from social bar, I'll switch down to footer bottom, click on save blocks. Just to see the changes, I'm going to go back to the front page and I'm expecting to see this block appear below the Powered by Drupal block. So here I go. Let's refresh our page. Great. It looks like the RSS feed link removed from the social bar region. If I scroll down, sure enough, here is the block. Ideally, I want to get rid of this block. So one way to get rid of it is going back to the block layout page, find the block and I could remove it or disable it. Another way is using contextual link. So here I am back on the front page at the very bottom. And if I hover over the pencil icon, you'll see that it outlines the actual block. I'll click on the pencil. I'll configure block. And it takes us right to the configure block page. Now the other way to do that again is on the block layout page. If I click on the RSS feed and hit configure, you'll notice that these are exactly the same page. And I'm going to configure the RSS feed block, and I'm actually going to remove block. So let's click on remove block. It gives us a warning, hey, I'm going to remove, click remove. And great, the block has been removed. So if I scroll back down to the bottom, sure enough, it's been removed. Nice, great. Now let's quickly add a new block to our site and test its functionality. The block that we're going to add is in the asset directory under unit seven. So in another tab, open up Acquia's asset directory, click on unit seven, and the first link here, basic block 
we're going to create a new basic block called new members. Click on this link. To add a custom block, let's go back to our Drupal site, click on structure, block layout, and one of the primary tabs will be custom block library. So click that tab. As we can see, we have already created a custom block called the welcome block. We're going to add a new custom block. So click that button. Let's go back to the asset directory to copy and paste the text. The block description is new members. Paste that. And the body is this text here. Revision log message, I'll just say initial commit. Click save. So what we have done is we have created a new custom block with the piece of HTML text that reads like this. If you love to hike and would like to share this experience not only with your own family, but also with a group of fellow waterfall enthusiasts, you may be wise to consider joining this site. So this is a message that we only want to show to anonymous users. Let's go back and place this newly created block. Again, I'm at the page structure, block layout, custom block library, where we can see our custom blocks, welcome block and new members. We just created this new members block. Now let's place this new members block. In order to place the block, go ahead and click on the block layout primary tab. Another way to do that is structure block layout. And let's find the region called sidebar. Here we go, looks like we've already placed our custom welcome block here. Let's also place our new members block. So next to sidebar will be a button called place block. Let's click it and let's filter the name for new members and start typing and new members block will be filtered. Click on place block under operations. For the title, for the header text that's going to be displayed for this block, rather than have the text of new members be displayed. Let's type in the title as why join question mark. We are going to display the title, but we only want to display this block for the anonymous role. So under the visibility settings, click on roles and click on anonymous user. A check mark next to anonymous user means only anonymous users will see this block. Click Save Block. And let's reorder this Y Join block to be above the Welcome block. We can see with this little asterisk that we need to click the Save. So scroll down to the bottom, click on Save Blocks. The settings have been updated. Let's go back in the other tab to the front page and refresh our page and do 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 do. We don't see the Y join block. Why is that? Well, because we are not anonymous, right? We are signed in. So in order to be anonymous in this home page here, using this home page link, I'm going to right click and open in a new Cognito window or a new private window, depending on your browser. Once I have the incognito window open, sure enough, I see the block, Y join. If you love to hike, I would like to share this experience not only with your own family, but also with a group of fellow waterfall enthusiasts, you may be wise to consider joining this site. So fantastic. So in this video, we removed the RSS link block that was originally placed on the sidebar region here. Before we deleted it, we placed it in the footer down here. We didn't like it, so we removed it using the contextual link. Then we created a new custom block called new members we placed the new members block in the sidebar and we changed its title from new members to Y join. And we restricted the block to only show to anonymous users. Well done. Take a break if you need to. I'll see you in the next video.